Hi, dear students. I hope you are fine. Everything doing good. I'm your teacher, Bilal Ahmed. And uh, this is the summary of today's English class. So today we started a new topic, read and respond, where you have to listen to the story about the city mouse and the country mouse. Okay. In the previous lesson, we talked about the city things and the country things, city places and country places, right? So this story about the city mouse and the country mouse. And don't forget, write this date on your English learners books. Today was 6 April and the day was Tuesday. I hope you open the page pages from 126 to 128. And this is the fifth lesson from unit nine. Read and respond. So first we have to listen to the story and then discuss the answers and questions. Okay, you have to answer the questions after listening to the story. So I told you that this story about the city mouse and the country mouse. Okay, so please listen to the track 89 where you have to listen to this story. This is the story that's starting from page 126 to 129. So here is a track. Track 89. The City Mouse and the Country Mouse. Cindy the City Mouse and Callie the Country Mouse met on the TV show Changing Places. Welcome to Changing Places, said the announcer. On this show, you change places for a week. I've never been to the city, said Callie. I've never been to the country, said Cindy. Let's change places, said Callie and Cindy. You'll love the city, said Cindy. There is so much to see and do. There is always something happening. Wow, said Callie. That sounds great. The country is wonderful too. The bees buzz and the birds sing. At night, you can count the stars. That sounds wonderful, said Cindy. That evening, Callie arrived in the city. The city streets were full of life. There were shops and cafes, bright lights and music. Some mice waved to Callie. Hi, Callie. Welcome to the city, they said. We're Cindy's friends. Come to our party. The party was at the top of a high building. There was food and dancing. This is amazing, said Callie. I love the city. So do we, said Cindy's friends. Just then, there was a strange noise. What's that? asked Callie. It's a cat! shouted the other mice. Run for your life! Callie ran out of the door, down the stairs and into the street. She jumped into a taxi. Take me home, she said. The city is too scary for me. I want to go back to the country. That same evening, Cindy arrived in the country. Callie's friend, Carlos, met Cindy at the bus stop. Welcome to the country, Cindy, he said. My name is Carlos. Would you like to have a picnic? Carlos and Cindy ate fresh berries and nuts. They listened to the birds sing. The sky grew dark and the stars came out. 
This is beautiful, said Cindy. I love the country. So do I, said Carlos. Just then, Carlos shouted, Quickly, run and hide! Here comes an owl! Cindy and Carlos jumped down a mouse hole just in time. The owl flew away. Cindy hurried to the bus stop. Thank you for the picnic, Carlos, she said. But the country is too scary for me. I'm going back to the city. That night in the country, Callie said, I'm so happy to be home. That night in the city, Cindy said, I'm so happy to be home. So, <clears throat> dear students, this was the track 89, where you listen to the city mouse and the country mouse, right? So, what's your favorite place? Which do you like better? the country or the city. In the country, you can find a lot of buildings, cafes, and different people, right? But in the countryside, there's a lot of greenish, a lot of trees, mountains, and rocks, right? So which do you like better? Today, we practice these words so some are the places for cities like toy shop, cafe, buildings, taxi, and some things you can find in the countryside like owl, <clears throat> nuts. You can find the trees, nuts trees in the countryside and bees. You have to read each word and try to make them correct, okay? The first one is shop, S-H-O-P. Second, cafe. The first will be C-A-F-E, cafe. Nuts, N-U-T-S. Building, B-U-I-L-D-I-N-G. Owl, A-W-L. Bees, B-E-E-S. A taxi, T-A-X-I. You need to find these words in the story from page 126 to 129 and complete the exercise. Okay. <clears throat> so then we discussed that Cindy or Sally. A cat scared her. You need to answer. Question number two, an owl scared her, Cindy or Callie, okay? A cat scared her, that was the Callie in the city. An owl scared her, that was Cindy. She liked in the city better than the country. Cindy. She liked the country better than the city, Callie, okay? So you need to complete, you have to choose the correct answer for this exercise, okay? Mice are very silly, what do you think? If mice are silly, you have to tick. Check this box. We like the places that we know best, tick. The city is more scary than the countryside. What do you think, okay? It's up to you. You have to answer by reading the sentences. Okay, your homework on page 108. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.